Hello and welcome to the course on C programming language. This course is built for those who don't have prior knowledge about any programming language previously. Suggestions for improvement are always welcome and I name this course as C programming learn to code series. Hope you will like the content of this course. Let's begin. In this particular series or in this particular lecture, I will try to discuss the syllabus that I am going to cover in the entire video series and I will tell you why I have chosen this course uh, to make a video on this. So the answer is here. You can see I, I am showing you the TIOB index for August 2020. You can find the entire page on this particular link www.tiob.com slash tiob hyphen index. And from this list, you can easily understood that in August 2020, the number one language which are quite used by many peoples around the world is your C programming language. All other languages that are been followed by different people in the world are shown over here but we don't have to be think about what other languages are present or currently they are using so let us focus on c programming language so let me go to my slide so in this particular lecture we are supposed to explain about the syllabus syllabus that i am going to cover in the entire series Okay. So as I have already told you that it is a foundation level course. So you can see here it is a foundation uh, course or the basic level course. And here I am assuming that the enrolled student have no prior knowledge about any programming language. But at least the learners should know how to use a computer. Okay. But still there are some mandatory requirements. Every student, those who are following this course has to have a desktop computer or a laptop computer with him. And at least a C compiler must be installed inside in your computer. If you are using a Linux operating system like Ubuntu or Fedora or Red Hat Linux, then no need to install any C compiler for them. It is it is there in the, the C compiler or the GCC compiler is already built in inside your system. But if you are using a Windows operating system with Windows 7, 8 or 10, then you require at least one compiler for your computer. You can see I have mentioned some of the compiler over here, Turbo C or C++, which is quite older one. Uh, so many people are uh, feeling comfortable with this compiler they may use it but I still recommend you should use mean GW which is based upon your Linux operating system that is a GCC compiler for Windows so you need to install this mean job mean GW in your computer to execute any program how to install mean GW that I will discuss uh, in subsequent lecture the other two compiler that you can uh, you can use for your course will be one is your code block and the second one is called your dev c++ so this uh, compiler you can directly download from the internet and you can install it in your windows machine for executing any c programming language okay besides that if you don't want to install any programming language or any compiler to your system you can go on an online compiler so there are some online compilers are also available where you can use your what i call it is browser to execute your codes so one compiler is your www.onlinegdb.com that is online c compiler and another another compiler is associated with your tutorial point compile c online so these two online compiler you can also use how to use them i will show you in uh, in a separate lecture but still uh, in an overall 
idea is that you should have a computer with uh, some compiler installed in your computer to execute a program code and this is a learn to code series so uh, everything that i am going to explain in the entire series will be including uh, the execution of programs in in the lectures so you need to have a compiler with you okay so the course structure what i have done is i have divided the entire course structure into five different units or modules and what are the different modules that i am going to discuss in this lecture so the first module or the first unit one is called the preliminaries where you are going to start the course so that starting point will be your understanding about a computer system overview of computer system then i will introduce why we need a programming language uh, obviously it will be this language will help you help us to interact with the computer so we need a programming language for that and we will introduce some number system concept what is that don't worry about worry, worry right now we are going to discuss about what is number system then finally in this unit we will cover how to solve a problem when it is given to you through the help of algorithms and flowcharts this is the first unit in the second unit uh, you after you complete this unit so after you this is the preliminary course and after you finish this unit you are able to code um, some programs means you are able to solve some problems using your c programming language so in this unit what we are going to cover is overview of c programming language then what are the fundamental building blocks of c means while you are writing a language you what are the different things you should know to write that language so one one of the fundamental building blocks will be operator and expression i have separately written here because it has the more impact on writing means a more impact on means the overall impact of this particular chapter is more in unit 2 that's why i have writ, write, written this so operators and expressions how to write operators how to write expressions in c programming language that part we are going to discuss now how the c program takes inputs and produce an output that we will learn uh, through basic input output unit so after you complete it you will have to you will be able to code some programs or write some programs the third unit we will cover uh, means the control structure functions array and string uh, so after you finish this techniques what is that that you will learn in subsequent lecture but after you finish this unit you will able to solve more realistic problems so you have the capability you whatever problem i'll give you you can instantly solve it or you or you may you may not write the code properly but you could have uh, knowledge how to solve that with this uh, techniques means with with this uh, chapter concepts like control structure functions and array and string in the fourth unit we are going to be uh, means when we finish this particular uh, unit four you will feel uh, more advanced after finishing this course because these are included in the advanced concept of c programming language those are called pointers structure and unions and dynamic memory allocations so everything is all obviously included in your syllabus whenever you check your syllabus of any university you can find these things will be included in your course finally the final step step up that is your unit 5 and in that unit 5 we are going to discuss on three chapters that will be file handling preprocessors and command line argument so that is the final step up for our course and i i believe that you will enjoy this course uh, so wait for the uh, subsequent lecture now uh, this is the thank you slide where i have mentioned this is c programming and it is you and in subsequent lecture you are going to grab this c programming language within you that's all for the today's class stay tuned for the next video